good morning, or good evening, or almost good night, or pork and schnaw. What you're watching right now is an album review. And I am back to the room which I live in. So uh, yeah, myself, could you uh, play that intro for me? <laughs> to review is the what I am going to review is the great wonderful beautiful discovery by Daft Punk got that Daft Punk shirt on right now and for those that don't know Daft Punk listen to them right now, they are very, very, very popular worldwide, and surprisingly, they've only had three studio releases, not including live stuff and remixes and soundtracks. But they're awesome. They're a house, what many people say, techno duo. It has um, Thomas Van Gulter. And Guy, I believe his middle name or last name is Christo. I have a little sculpting thing of him. Yeah. Very, very small. That was one of the first masks. They changed their masks um, sometimes. Anyway, Discovery is an album that can make you feel better. I truly find this album a huge piece of magic. If you feel like dancing, then you can pretty much do that throughout this whole entire album, except probably two, three tracks, probably just two. It starts off with one more time, then it somewhat fades into Aerodynamic, then goes to Digital Love, Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger, and then it's just full on amazingness from there. It really is. From Chris Endall's to Virgis Quo to my favorite Daft Punk song in the world, Superheroes. Yeah. Too Long, which is not too long, I think it should be longer. Everything. Everything is great in there. This album is absolutely perfect from the production, of course. These guys are just geniuses in every way. From even guitar work, it has some guitar in there. The solo to um, Digital Love is mind-blowing. The bass, which is probably one of my top favorite things about Daft Punk, the bass is just pounding. It kind of reminds me of metal genres because it's just it really makes you want a headbang sometimes it can work just putting those genres together would many people fail at that i don't think there's really one band out there that succeeded unless you count industrial metal bands but yeah this album's been around for pretty much 10 years now i think and if you haven't heard one more time or harder, better, faster, stronger, for that matter. You've been deprived. Get this album if you feel like dancing or pretty much going on a huge magical journey. I think that this album has a story behind it. Because if you look at the music videos from this album, which ended up being in the movie called Interstellar 5000, 555, it had a big story. I'm not really sure what that story was, but it involved a lot of blue people, so it was really cool. It had a anime thing going on, so it was very interesting. But yeah, there's, there is so much going on in this album, I don't think I could explain it myself. There's guitar work in it, there's amazing beats, there's the bass, there's like laser sounds 
There's interesting lyrics throughout this album. It really just has a great feel to it. It's a great album. Definitely. 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 Get it. But yeah. Rating it 10 out of 10. It's nothing bad about it whatsoever. Complete magicalness. And just like the AFI album reviews, this was suggested by my good friend Kyle Dirty Curtis. <laughs> no! So do what he did. Suggest me something. Now! Comment. Subscribe. Make me a happy person. And I'll try to make you a happy person. Good morning. Good night. Have a good day. Or have a good night. Woo! Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up in